You want to be an e-boy. Sorry, want to be an e-boy? You low-key fancy Belle Delphine. You're syphilitic. Alright, you bunch of soft boys, Carl here. So we're doing something a bit different for this video today. I say different, but honestly, it's just different for my channel. For the rest of YouTube, I reckon about half the platform have already done this kind of video. I'm well aware of that, and I'm a bit late to the party. But, to be honest, that makes quite a refreshing change, because usually the problem isn't that I'm too late, it's that I'm way too quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm running with that joke, that's, that's good. <laughs> But I do genuinely spend a lot of time talking about other people on my channel. So I thought, enough's enough, let's talk about me for a bit, right? I may not be that interesting, but I am the second most famous Cal Mac on YouTube. That's a bit of clout for you there. The second most famous. Actually, on that note, Cal Mac Fairies are at 1.2k, the little seafaring mugs. So I'm hoping to beat them in subscribers by the end of the year. So if you do enjoy this video, please do subscribe. I have new videos coming out weekly and I greatly appreciate it. So my aim for the end of 2020 is to sink their ship, to pass them in subscribers. I'm not literally going to sink their ship, don't get me wrong, unless they test me. They think they're doing it, stealing my name like seven years before I came up with it. Can't let them get away with that. I'm gonna drop a diss track. So I put this post out on my Insta the other day and expected some lovely responses. As you can tell, that's a very nice Insta story. It was very polite, very pleasant. There's absolutely no threat to anybody's nan on there. So I knew that if you put love out into the world, people are going to give you some love back. You know, lovely, nice, kind responses. So, yeah, let's see what I got. Virgin. This one just isn't true. Uh, and it's a bit offensive, actually. I've hugged many girls. I've even kissed a few. So... I'm doing pretty well for myself, thank you. Not a virgin at all. <laughs> yeah? You're only doing commentary because your 3am videos failed and now you're criticising them to hide them. I've never criticised a 3am video. And I could never do 3am videos. People don't answer the phone for me at 3pm. Never mind 3am. You can't expose me for that. I'm not J-Station. I've got slightly more hair and a lot less jail time. This isn't your first channel, and like all good commentary YouTubers, you made Year 7 videos. That one is actually pretty spot on. Yeah, I have had maybe 10 to 15 channels in my life. They're all varying degrees of awful. They're all really bad. But, you know, they taught me a lot of skills that I now use on this channel, so they were worth it in a way. Maybe I'll revisit them for a video. Let me know if you'd want to see that, because it's terrible, and I think they span pretty much every genre that's on YouTube. Apart from 3am videos, I didn't do 3am videos. But I actually vividly remember people ribbing me about them loads because uh, they were quite embarrassing. Of course they were, I was like 12 and I was making Minecraft videos. In fairness, they were terrible, so I get why people were ribbing me. But, bit of a trendsetter, to be fair. Quite a few people afterwards started making YouTube videos. None of them are successful as me. They didn't top my 23 subscribers on my first channel. You want to be an e-boy. Sorry, want to be an e-boy? I am an e-boy. I am the best e-boy. Do you not remember this clip? <laughs> are you going to apologise to my girlfriend or are we going to have to uh, settle this man to man? <laughs> oh, what a man. Am I right? I would. You're syphilitic. Right, you look like an absolute mug here, mate. I don't know if you realise, but you need to actually have sex to get syphilis. So, I'm in the clear, baby. Check me, alright? Don't accuse me of that. Ain't no way I've got it. Alright? It is a hollow victory, but it's a victory nevertheless. So, uh, we take it. We move. You are in need of outro slash intro music. And like taking Cam Kirkham's video ideas. Right, I do actually have outro music. If you want to stay to the end of the video, you can hear it. You should do that. You should definitely do that. And while you're at the end of the video, you should click one of the little indents for one of my other videos. And then watch that to the end. And then you can hear the outro music again. That's the great thing, is that it's on every one of my videos. So just have a good time with that. It's banging music. On the Cam Kirkham thing... Did I watch his video and then decide straight after to make this video because I really liked what he did with that and thought, oh, that's really nice. I like the style that he did it in and, you know, I think that could be a really fun video idea. 
and I'm going to steal it almost one to one. <laughs> no, no, that is a stupid accusation. I do not acknowledge it. You're a Tottenham fan. Was it the broad Yorkshire accent that tipped you off to that? No, no, I'm a Bradford City fan, unfortunately. Uh, but I love them. Yeah. No joke. Apart from my team. <laughs> You're actually a billionaire. Nah, I wish that was true. But I shaved my own head recently because I didn't really want to pay for a haircut. That's where I'm at. <laughs> not got billions in the bank, really. Also, you know... Billionaire is probably not a thing that should exist. Nobody needs that much money. Unless it was me, in which case that would be completely fine. You know, that would be good. Because I'm different. <laughs> I'm not like other girls. You still look like my mum's ex. I wonder if you're related to him. It's a bit weird, to be honest, to imply that your mum's ex is hot. That's just a bit strange. But, you know, he sounds like a very attractive man. I'm sure he does well for himself. I'd just keep those thoughts to yourself in future. <laughs> You have never watched American Horror Story. That's quite an interesting assumption. That's like out of left field, but you know, really interesting. No, I have watched American Horror Story. I think I've watched the first season and a bit of the third season. The third season was better, but I'm not too keen on it as horror. I think there are better horror series out there and there are definitely better horror films out there. But yeah, I've given it a watch and it's all right. I, you know, I wouldn't be opposed to watching more seasons of it, but I feel like that's kind of a, Maybe a relationship -y thing, that's something you watch with a partner, and, uh, I ain't got one dose. <laughs> Why are you such a pussy -o? Right, I've had enough of this abuse. Right, this man here, he's a bully, okay? I'm gonna make an exception, name and shame. James, you've probably seen him from a video on this channel, he's just bullying me. He's just constantly abusing me, honestly. <sighs> what a big meanie. A pussy, oh. Fucking hurts, man. I actually can't even keep up that act. James is great, I love him. And next week's video is actually a video with James, so look forward to that. In answer to the question, why are you such a pussy, oh? It's just born this way, I guess. Yeah. I've come to terms with it. It is what it is. I'm styling it out. Please leave my nan out of this. Look, if your nan didn't want to get involved, then she wouldn't have started beef with me, alright? She went on a Calamac ferry, and you know what that means. That means beef. I didn't want to get your nan involved, but she started the beef with me first. Tell her to drop me a DM, maybe we can sort it out personally. Nans to drop me a DM, because I don't actually want to speak to any nans. I just looked a bit threatening in that picture, so I thought it was quite funny to put that caption. That's it, alright? I've got no personal beef with nans. You low-key fancy Belle Delphine. No, I just think she's a great businesswoman, alright? A fantastic businesswoman. I respect the hustle. My attraction begins and ends at the hustle, right? On the grind. I'm kidding around a bit there, but actually I do have a lot of respect for her as a businesswoman, and I think she's maybe one of the best viral marketers in the world. She has the internet on strings, and she just knows how to make people tick. Granted, her appearance is obviously a large part of that, but I think she's a very intelligent woman. And I have a lot of respect for women who do OnlyFans and take a situation where they're going to be objectified either way and kind of flip it on its head so that they're actually gaining something from it. That's my personal opinion on it, and I think more power to you. You know, you go get that bag. Sick. No problem with it. So now you've got the approval of a white man Right. I bet nobody asked for that, but you've got it anyway. <laughs> you act tough, but you're actually a softie. Yeah, I mean, pretty nailed on, actually. I think that's pretty accurate. I'm not really sure how tough I act. I don't think I'm particularly macho or act that hard, but I am a softie. I'm like the soppiest, maybe most romantically led person I know. Um, and that's probably why I've been in relationships most of my adult life, but I'm not at the moment, uh, which is interesting. It's kind of a new experience. And uh, yeah, I think that might be why I've been in so many long-term relationships. So yeah, big softy, big softy. Sorry for getting a bit real there. Yeah, just popped on a jumper. It's getting a bit chilly. Anyway, let's move on to the next question. We've got an assumption here. You're a raging socialist. Look, I want to make one thing abundantly clear. 
I'm not a socialist. I don't want to talk about politics on this channel. This channel isn't a place for me to touch on politics, okay? And don't call me a socialist. That's very offensive to me. Why would you think I'm a socialist? Bloody offensive. I know what you're thinking. Did you put on that jumper exclusively for that one joke? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Anyway, thank you so much if you sent in an assumption. I'll be doing this kind of thing in the future if you enjoy it and, you know, if this video has a little bit of success. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and comment down below what you thought of the answers, because I think this is maybe the most personal video I've done today. So I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you want to follow me on other channels, they're here. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Bye.